Trainer Bill Spar called time on a career that spanned over six decades just this past month. I caught up with him earlier to have a little natter and have a cup of coffee. This guy gets up pretty darn early. Why so early? I get up at 2.30. I get here. I want to study my horses and see what they ate and see how they are at different times so I know when something's wrong. And I, I've, I'm here twice a day, every day, except on race day, I'm here three times a day. Is everything gone? You're having a fire sale here. You're yeah, selling everything. everything's gone. Yeah, geez, I didn't know it was so popular <laughs> making deals. Buy one, get one free. Bill, what, what led to your decision to retire? As, as a sense, I mean, you're going Do out. you really want to know? Mm, no, you don't. I, I want the good version. Overregulated. I'll okay. just say that. And if anybody asks me what it means, you just answered the question. You don't know. What would you, what do you remember best about this game of horse racing? What is a favorite memory of yours that you'll cherish? We need a lot of races. What about Port and Arrow? Yeah, there, there he is up there. Yeah. He's got to be one of your favorites. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, homebred, cool horse. The first Cal Cup, my sonny boy, P. Val didn't show up to ride the horse. And went in the jocks room, and there's no jocks left except Georgie Velasquez, who had just left, showered, was, went to his car. And Darrell was working for me then, and he got to run into the parking lot. And he got Georgie to, out of the car to ride the horse, and the horse went easy when the first Cal Cup. Well, my pal Bill, very sad to see him retire. Uh, he's been around here a long time. Bill and I go back to the 70s at Bay Meadows. Uh, I think one of the things that's not appreciated about Bill is how good he was to his help. Uh, when I worked for him, he was treating me great. And one time we had a big Christmas party over at a, um, a Mexican restaurant in uh, Monrovia and he, he bought televisions, uh, all sorts of things for all his employees. Good guy and an excellent horseman. Now there's a story. Hollywood Park on 1986. That's right. He went in Hollywood, huh? He's a neat horse. He was horse. 12. Who's this? That's it. Oakland Park. What's that say? Master. Master Gennaro. Mr. Gennaro. Mr. Gennaro. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, Music Marcy. No. You already took out a zombie down, didn't you? you know, I had two trophies. I had winning the Breeders' Cup and they won the Eclipse Award. Right. And I'm saying, well, I got two trophies. Well, when I, you know, I, I said, a partner, you want the uh, Eclipse, Eclipse Award? He said, I got plenty of those trophies for him. He said, I'll send it to the horse. So I called, I called back there and nobody's ever done it before. Sent the trophy to the horse. To old friends? To old friends. When was the last time you saw him? Amazon. It's been a few years. Uh, Chris has been back to see him. He gets a lot of visitors. He's very popular. I got to show you this picture. I sent the picture back there for one of the Eclipse Award, and they took a picture of him looking at his trophy, and it's precious. That's so cool. And that's an old friend that with him? Yeah. That's just so awesome. It was in a magazine. It was so great. Yeah. If you had one thing to say to a young person coming up now, mm -hmm. what would it be? Don't do it. <laughs> Something else, Bill. Uh, try to learn as much as you can from the experienced people. Uh, it's not that easy. Wow. There's gotta be a sign I can steal around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs>